For those of you who are supporting Chick-fil-A, would you support a company who's campaigned to restrict African American rights? Would you support a company who's restricting women's rights? Would you support a company who's campaigned on restricting the Bill of Rights? If the answer to any of these questions is no, then why the hell do you think it's okay to support a company that's against gay rights? When you just said that you are against people uh, restricting your rights. Chick-fil-A supports the Family Research Council, which have made statements like this. One of the primary goals of homosexual rights movement is to abolish all age consent laws and to eventually recognize pedophiles as the prophets of a new sexual order. The evidence indicates that the disproportionate numbers of gay men seek adolescent males or boys as sexual partners. While activists like to claim that pedophilia is a completely distinct orientation from homosexuality, evidence shows a disproportionate overlap between the two. It is a homosexual problem. Now, why don't people understand that marriage is a legal institution and not a religious one? To deny the legal rights inherent to a relationship of an individual is wrong. And then there's the whole thing about all men are created equal. It's in the first line of the Constitution. Every portion of the government is bound by it. And this is the same Constitution that these right-wing religious anti-gay people are clinging to so badly. It is the same one that betrays them in the end. Now, for those of you who are saying that they have the right to say what they want, and they shouldn't be demonized for it, I agree. They can say whatever they want. They can say whatever they want. They can build whatever they want. But we have every right as well to boycott them. We have every right to mock them, basically, for their actions and their funding and everything for it, because of it. Just another thing to keep in mind. This is so much more than marriage. Chick-fil-A supports many things, such as the Family Research Council, like I said before, the folks on the family, as well as Exodus International. And they have given a grand total of, a, at the most, five million to them combined. And in 2010, and I'm reading this, the Family Research Council spent over $25,000 lobbying U.S. Congress to not condemn Uganda's Kill the Gays Bill, CIVH Res 1064 Ugandan Resolution Pro-Homosexual Promotion. So go ahead and support Chick-fil-A. Support it all you want, because infringing the rights on other people who are different than you is a good thing, apparently. Remember the new Chick-fil-A motto? Hate legislation, supported by Chick-fil-A. something odd. President of Chick-fil-A, Chewit Caffey, I, I believe that's how his name is pronounced, I'm not exactly sure, said this, we don't claim to be a Christian business, but as an organization we operate on biblical principles. Is that so? Not from the Bible. The swine is unclean, the flesh you shall not eat, and their carcasses you shall not touch. They are unclean to you. Leviticus 11.8. So it's okay to listen to one part of the Bible, and only half of that part, which says that homosexuality is a sin and an abomination, but when it has something about eating swine or even touching it, you tend to ignore that. You know, like the, uh, oh here, uh, the chicken filet bacon platter, or the chicken filet sausage platter. You, as I said, ignore it. That's right. Biblical principles. Inescapable, more imperative for us. Disposable when inconvenient for you Christians. Remember the new Chick-fil-A motto. Well, being obese is genetic, and being gay is a lifestyle choice.